All right, let's unpack this bad boy. Huh, pretty good packaging. We got the styrofoam out and there's a little box of hardware. Let's cut this bag open. There's an instruction manual and there are three main pieces that make up the bike rack. Let's try to get this main piece out. Yeah, this thing, this thing has some weight to it. Ooh, there's a bag of hardware right here. Let me free this up. And here's what's inside of that goodie bag. There's a couple of bolts, some nuts, and they have also included tools to assemble the bike rack. And in the little box, we get a stabilizer bracket. And what's interesting is that the KYX instruction manual says that installation of this bracket is optional. And you also get an instruction manual that shows you how to put the rack together and how it can be mounted to the vehicle. But now let's assemble the bike rack using the hardware and tools that they have included in the kit. First, I'm gonna insert the curved section over the secondary tube, and then I'm gonna take the bolt and put it through the last hole. Once that bolt is through that hole, I'm gonna secure it using this nut. And to fully lock this thing down, I'm gonna use the tools that they have included. Notice how I'm using the smaller side to hold the bolt while I turn the nut. Now I can insert the retainer pin into the second hole. Once that pin goes through this hole, I can secure the pin so it doesn't pop out with the clip. I'm just gonna push this ear here until it locks into that groove. There it is. Now I can insert the main body into the secondary body. Notice the orientation of these pipes as they come in together. Once those two holes line up, I'll be able to install two more bolts. Once those bolts go through the body, then I can secure them with the nuts. And once again, I'm using the tools that they have included, I'll fully tighten these guys down. Now I can take the bike rack to the hitch of my vehicle, insert that until this hole lines up in the bottom, and insert the largest bolt that they included. Once that bolt is inserted in place, I'm gonna secure it with the nut. And using the larger side on the tool set that they included, I'll fully tighten this until it's nice and snug. Alternatively, instead of this bolt, we could also use a lock on here if we wanted to avoid anybody taking our bike rack. And this is what it looks like once the bike rack is mounted. I'm gonna open it up and put it in the loading position. This is the position that it's gonna be used when I'm gonna carry bikes. Notice that I'm making sure that it fully locks in there so it's secure. And now I'm ready to start mounting some bikes on here. Notice how the saddles that are gonna hold the bike are pointing up. And as you can see towards the end of the bike rack, there's actually little reflective red covers. If for some reason the saddles in the kit are pointing down, not a problem. As long as these reflective covers are pointing up, all I have to do is turn the saddles by hand so they point in the right direction. And here's an interesting feature. I can remove this pin and fold the bike rack down if I'm not gonna use it. Then I can reinsert the pin to lock the bike rack so it's not moving around, which is convenient so I don't have to take off the whole rack if I'm not using it. Same thing on the bottom, the pin can also be removed and that allows the bike rack to fold out, which is convenient if I'm trying to open the tailgate on my vehicle. Once I'm done, I can close the tailgate and return the bike rack to the correct upright position, insert the pin and lock it and begin to mount some bikes. And let's mount some bikes on these saddles. And now let's lock the bikes in place with the straps. And we actually found out that these straps are easier to insert into place if I insert the bottom first before inserting the top first. And we have mounted three full-size bikes and we still have space for one more towards the front. But now let's go out for a test drive to see how well this bike rack handles. And we're driving around with the KYX bike rack. Now the bike rack, as you saw, supports up to four bikes. I only have three bikes, so that's as many as I can put on there, but there is additional space for one more. Now driving around with the bike rack, it's almost 
the same as without the bike rack. I, you don't really feel the difference. However, you do have to be mindful that the bike rack has added a little bit of extra length to the vehicle. So because of that, now the car technically is slightly longer, which is not a problem. Anytime you add something to the hitch of your vehicle, we know that the car is inherently getting longer. And if you have ever attached anything to the hitch of your vehicle, you know that the receiving tube, when it accepts another tube in there, it has a little bit of what we call tolerances. So there's a little bit of looseness to it. So anytime you attach something to a hitch, it's not going to be a super tight fit is by design to allow a, you to insert a tube in there. So the tube for the bike racks does move a little within the space that the factory designed it for. Now the instruction manual for the KYX carrier bike says that there is a stabilizer that you can purchase separately if you really wanted to lock down that tube. I didn't install a stabilizer and I feel <laughs> like there is no really a need for it. However, what was really cool is that they did include the stabilizer in the kit, so I didn't have to buy anything separately. And the stabilizer, as you can see, will lock down the, fur the tube further if you really wanted to lock down the bikes. Now, if you do go over a bump really hard, you might see the bikes move a little, but for the most part, they're pretty much secure in there in a way that you know they're not gonna fall. You're not gonna be worried about them falling off, and you're not gonna be worried about them banging into each other because they're separated by those in inserts and both by those holder straps that uh, are say, hold on to the bikes pretty tight. What's also convenient I think is how they thought of the little things like the fact that you can pull a pin and then the entire thing can fold out so we can open a tailgate if we needed to and also the fact that we can bring the entire bike rack inside and fold it while still mounted to the vehicle so that is great when I don't have bikes I don't have to remove the bike rack I can just fold it and keep it to the vehicle and finally let's talk about the installation as you saw it is pretty straightforward it's really only three pieces that have to come together and only a couple of bolts now the fact that they included tools means that you don't have to own a mechanics tool set to put this together you can use the included tools and put the bike rack fairly quickly loading the bikes onto the bike rack is also not difficult especially if you have lightweight bikes uh, one of the bikes that's loaded in the bike rack is an electric bike for example and that's the last bike that we loaded on there and that one is heavier because it has a battery so that is the only bike that was a little bit heavier in terms of lifting it to get it onto the bike rack but for the most part regular bikes and it's this is a one-man operation of you loading those into the bike rack so overall i have to say that this is an easy way to take your bikes with you on a road trip and still not hamper the car's ability to be used such as being able to open the tailgate so if you guys have any other questions regarding the kyx bike rack please put that in the comments down below remember i placed a link in the description to the bike rack if you want to look at it further or acquire one for yourself and stay tuned as i have a lot more cool car gadgets and accessories coming up for you guys thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one